Hello students, in this video I will discuss with the continuity and differentiability of class 12 and uh, if you are first time watching this video you can refer the previous videos that is regarding the limits and derivative of uh, class 11 and uh, before going through this video just uh, refer the previous video and you can understand better and I will start with the definition of the continuity see the definition suppose f is a real function on a subset of the real numbers and let c be a point in the domain of f then f is continuous at c if limit extending to c f of x equal to f of c see here f is continuous at x equal to c means limit of the function is equal to value of the function here limit of the function means left hand limit and right hand limit of the function that is limit extending to c plus f of x is equal to limit extending to c minus f of x is equal to f of c and let us take some example and you will understand better see here let us take the function f of x is equal to x plus 3 when x not equal to 0 and 5 when x equal to 0 and if you find the limit of this function here when x is not equal to 0 means either x tending to 0 plus or 0 minus in both the cases f of x is defined in the same way that is x plus 3 that is where let us write limit x tending to 0 f of x is equal to limit x tending to 0 0 means tending to 0 means does not mean x equal to 0 but it is near to 0 either from the right side of 0 or left side of 0 f of x is defined in the same way that is x plus 3 and uh, now the method of finding is just substitute x equal to 0 in this expression we will have 0 plus 3 and that is equal to 3 the limit of this function is equal to 3 what is the value of the function f of 0 is equal to 5 and you can observe that limit of the function and value of the function are different therefore f of x is not continuous at x equal to 0 and instead of 5 if i replace it by the number 3 what happens you just see here and if it is 3 then what is uh, f of 0 f of 0 is equal to 3 f of 0 is not 5 now limit extending to 0 f of x is equal to f of 0 and therefore f of x is continuous at x equal to 0 and uh, if you see the graph of the function you will understand better and uh, in the beginning the function is defined like this f of x equal to x plus 3 when x not equal to 0 which is a straight line and when x equal to 0 it is 5 just see here when x equal to 0 this is a point here this point is not there and it, instead of this point it is placed at this point that is 0 comma 5 see here i have marked a circle here actually the point does not mean a circle to recognize i have marked like this and there is only one point skipped here and it is not visible actually and that point is here at this position that is at 0 comma 5 and definitely there is a break in this line at this point and it is not continuous at this point instead of 5 if it is uh, 3 then you can observe that gap is filled by that point and it will be continuous at x equal to 0 now take the second example f of x equal to box x that is greatest integer function and the limit extending to 1 minus f of x is equal to limit extending to 1 minus box x even though here 1 minus means slightly less than 1 and if it is 0 0.9999 and what is box 0 0.999 it is 0 and whenever the number is slightly less than 1 in between 0 to 1 the box where x will take the value 0 and it is equal to 0 and limit extending to 1 plus f of x it means it is slightly greater than 1 when the number is in between 1 to 2 what is box x limit extending to 1 plus box x equal to 1 and what is the value of the function f of 1 is equal to box 1 which is equal to 1 
here the greatest integer function of 1 is equal to 1 and uh, that is why you can tell like this the function is not continuous here because limit extending to 1 minus f of x is not equal to limit extending to 1 plus f of x therefore the function f of x is not continuous at x equal to 1 and if you see the graph of this limit extending to 1 minus f of x is not equal to limit extending to 1 plus f of x because as x tends to 1 from the left side it is 0 and as x tends to 1 from the right side it is 1 and uh, therefore the function is not continuous at x equal to 1. Instead of 1 if you take some other point for example some other point other than integers for example you take 2.5 and limit extending to 2.5 minus that is tending to 2.5 from the left side of 2.5 it may be 2.4999 something and what is greatest integer of 2.4999 it is 2 and it is the greatest integer less than 2.4999 and which is equal to 2 that is limit extending to 2.5 minus f of x is equal to 2 and uh, if you take uh, limit extending to 2.5 from the right side of 2.5 limit extending to 2.5 plus f of x and uh, which is also is equal to 2 because 2.5 plus means it is 2.500001 it is tending to 2.5 from the right side of 2.5 which is equal to 2.50001 and it is also equal to 2 what is box 2.5 that is greatest integer of 2.5 is also equal to 2 and here the left hand limit and right hand limit and value of the function all are equal therefore function is continuous at x equal to 2.5 and uh, let us take the other example let f of x equal to 2x plus 3 when x is greater than 1 5 when x equal to 1 and 6x minus 1 when x is less than 1 and uh, let us draw the let us find the limit of the function limit extending to 1 plus f of x is equal to limit extending to 1 plus 1 plus means it is greater than 1 when it is greater than 1 the function is defined as 2x plus 3 and that is equal to 2 plus 3 which is equal to 5 limit extending to 1 minus f of x here 1 minus means slightly less than 1 when it is less than 1 how this function is defined 6x minus 1 that is equal to limit extending to 1 minus 6x minus 1 that is equal to 6 into 1 6 minus 1 that is equal to 5 and what is the value of f of x at x equal to 1 f of 1 is also equal to 5 here limit extending to 1 plus f of x is equal to limit extending to 1 minus f of x equal to f of 1 therefore f of x is continuous at x equal to 1 and if you see the graph of the function f of x is equal to 2x plus 3 when x is greater than 1 that is uh, you can see this line the blue line represented 2x plus 3 when it is greater than 1 it is 2x plus 3 and when it is uh, less than 1 it is 6x minus 1 that is yellow line shows the graph of 6x minus 1 when it is 1 it is 5 that is a point 1 comma 5 and now if extending to 1 plus f of x you know that it is equal to 5 and uh, limit extending to 1 minus f of x tending to 1 from the left side and it is also is equal to 5 and f of 1 is also equal to 5 at uh, x equal to 1 f of x is 5 and therefore it is continuous. Now instead of this if I change the function like this f of x equal to 2x plus 3 when x is greater than 1 and f of x equal to 6 when x equal to 1 and f of x equal to 6x minus 1 when x is less than 1 what happens you see here and the left hand limit and right hand limit both of them are equal here that is both of them are equal to 5 but what is f of 1 f of 1 is equal to 6 you can observe there is a break in this graph and this point is not there and instead of that there is a small gap in the curve and this point is shifted to here and left hand limit and right hand limit are equal even the left hand limit and right hand limit are equal the value of the function is different and therefore the function is not continuous at x equal to 1 if the function is defined like this.
and if instead of this if i change the function like this f of x equal to 2x plus 1 when x is greater than 1 and 5 when x equal to 1 and uh, 6x minus 1 when x is less than 1 here i changed 2x plus 3 to 2x plus 1 what happens you see here and the graph will be like this and uh, the graph of the function 2x plus 1 is again a straight line it is like this and as x tends to 1 from the right side the limit of this function is 3 you can observe 2 into 1 plus 1 that is equal to 3 and uh, as x tends to 1 from the left side it is 6 into 1 minus 1 that is equal to 5 and uh, left hand limit and right hand limit are not equal and therefore the function is not continuous at x equal to 1 and here right hand limit is equal to 3 and left hand limit is equal to 5 and they are not equal therefore the function is not continuous at x equal to 1 and here you can observe one more thing the function is not continuous at x equal to 1 and if I take this function as like this only I will take the different point what happens you just see here and instead of 1 I will check the continuity at other point that is for example at 3 what happens you observe limit extending to 3 plus f of x 3 plus means it is greater than 1 this 3 near to 3 that means it is greater than 1 and when it is greater than 1 how the function is defined 2x plus 1 and 2 into 3 plus 1 that is equal to 7 and the limit extending to 3 minus f of x just to observe this correctly 3 minus means near to 3 slightly less than 3 and which is also greater than 1 and uh, the function is defined in the same way 2x plus 1 only and 2 into 3 plus 1 that is also equal to 7 and f of 3 when it is greater than 1 the function is defined as 2x plus 1 and f of 3 is also equal to 7 the function is continuous at x equal to 3 and see the graph and at this point there is no break in the graph and it is continuous at x equal to 3. With this much I conclude the explanation and I will come with the other definitions. See here a function is continuous at x equal to c if the function is defined at x equal to c first of all the function should be defined and if the value of the function at x equal to c equal to limit of the function at x equal to c here the limit of the function means left hand limit and right hand limit are equal if f is not continuous at x equal to c we say that it is discontinuous at x equal to c and c is called a point of discontinuity of f a real function f is said to be continuous if it is continuous at every point in the domain of f. See the definition here you understood what is the meaning of the continuity of the function at a particular point and uh, it is said to be continuous a function is said to be continuous if it is continuous at every point in its domain it is continuous everywhere. Here while finding the continuity of the function in the domain or in an interval if the domain is an interval and uh, you have to check like this. Suppose f is a function defined on a closed interval a comma b that is the domain of the function is closed interval a comma b then for f to be continuous it needs to be continuous at every point in the interval a comma b including a and b here a and b are also included that is at the end points of a and b it is sufficient if we check limit extending to a plus f of x is equal to f of a that is for the left end because here limit extending to a minus f of x is meaningless because when it is less than a function is not defined there is no question of finding the limit extending to a minus f of x similarly at the right end that means at the end b it is sufficient if we check limit extending to b minus f of x equal to f of v in this case the 
limit extending to b plus f of x is meaningless because f of x is not defined when it is greater than b and thus when the domain is interval and you have to check at all the points in the interval including the in point a and b you have to check the continuity and this is the method of checking the continuity at the end points and with this much i conclude this video and the next video let us solve some numerical questions in the exercise thank you